horror movies. As a fan of movies, horror is in my literal blood as shown on my artwork and my use of writing implementing fear. I'm a fan of how you can take something simple and make it scary, even if it doesn't work. Horror movies have this way of being scary, yet iconic through how it can last. Examples like Freddy Cougar, Jason Voorhees, Chucky, and other characters. That could be due from the design in how they are easily remembered through decades. Or the many movies made on them. Doesn't matter. It's no lie horror movies can be made for people of many, whether the hardcores or the cowards. Yet there is a lacking for horror movies, specifically modern horror. If you watch a movie trailer for a horror movie, you've seen them all. They have this overuse of being visually fearful to make us excited to see it. Just add creepy music, narration, and build up, while ruining the scares by showing it at the end so people can really get hooked. Sometimes a trailer can ruin a horror movie and its atmosphere. I recommend Chris Stuckman in their analysis on the problems of horror and its many issues. He describes how horror movies are ruined by being overused in creepy music, false jump scares, and horror cliches. Horror movies have this medium that feels lacking when nostalgia can be drained from us. Hell, I thought the first Elm Street had its issues. Child's Play didn't have the best look when it came to Chucky as he moved quite slow, but as those franchises progressed, they managed to get better or worse. And with the passing of time, horror fans can look up, or down, to what these films have done. But there is more to horror than the typical scares. There is horror comedy. I've seen a lot of people criticize horror comedies for not being scary, but here's something you need to understand. They're meant to be comedies. You can't take them seriously. Do people expect a movie like Scary Movie or Shaun of the Dead to be taken seriously with titles like that? Shaun of the Dead came out the same year as the Dawn of the Dead remake. Dawn. Sean, get over it! Horror comedies can work as its own right, especially as a spoof film. Spoof films are comedies not meant to be taken seriously, as it parodies other movies with its own twists and shifts in the story. Sometimes spoof movies can be overbearing on its insanity and that can lead to bad movies, but I'm getting a little off track. What about modern horror? Modern horror has a lacking on being scary, but being the same as it is. They try to be overwhelming and frightening, but they turn out as dull or forgotten. These trailers build them up like these big thrillers that have people on their seats. Have you seen the trailers for Truth or Dare? Yeah. That movie sucked. They can be loud, dark, obnoxious, cliched, and not even scary. But there are some movies from the 2000s and the 2010s that I actually enjoyed. Remakes on classics can vary from spectacular to disaster. Sometimes remakes will try to modernize classics. It can work depending if they don't go too modern. They better not make Chucky take selfies! But no one asked for an Elm Street remake. But the Friday the 13th remake was good. It's better to remake movies by giving an understanding of what the original had. Maybe make some changes to not making it a shot by shot. And sometimes the remake can be better than the original if they do it right. And if the remake is great, it could possibly become a fan favorite and be just as memorable as the original. And that remake might get the remake as well. Modern horror can be said the same with classic horror. With movies like The Conjuring, Babadook, and Lights Out, they can be the classic this generation grew up with that scared them. They can be the ones that will be remembered through decades, even if they sucked or not. Despite its many flaws, I still love the horror genre, even if it doesn't do things right. I will admit, the overbearing cliches and lacking creativity is there, but so are a lot of movies, classics and modern, but there are still some that are memorable and are favorites of mine. Let me quickly say them. The Thing, 1980, Halloween 1 and 2 Classics, Lights Out, Don't Breathe, The Shining, Saw, The Exorcist, Rosemary's Baby, The Conjuring, Psycho, The Fly, The Omen, Get Out, The Babadook, Carrie, It Follows, Poltergeist, Child's Play 1 and 2, A Quiet Place, Friday the 13th 1 through 3, Nightmare on Elm Street 1 through 3, It Comes at Night, Alien, Hellraiser, Insidious, Let the Right One In, The Ring, Friday the 13th Remake, The Grudge, VHS 1 and 2, The Strangers, Drag Me to Hell, House of a Thousand Corpses, The Mist, You're Next, The Evil Dead 1 and 2, and Army of Darkness, Evil Dead Remake, and Silence of the Lambs. Whew. Whew. And there is still more. But like I said, there is something about horror and what they have for people with their fearing tone, impactful stories, well-written characters and dialogue, or just the cheesiness. There is a movie for everyone, and horror is my genre. I do recommend that entire list of movies I mentioned, or at least some of them. They're all great in my opinion, so check them out. 
And with it now being October, aka the month where we get spooky and start getting slaved over by the candy, it's nice to check out a horror movie and watch it by yourself, or with friends, the night Halloween rolls by. Speaking of that as well, my birthday is on Halloween and I'll be turning 16 this year. So you know it's gonna be a good birthday. Yay! Adulthood! Ah. Also, I'm gonna be doing Inktober this year, which is where artists get to draw a certain list of subjects every day October based on the theme of the day. As long as you use ink art tools. You can do it digitally or traditionally, but I'll be doing digitally because I lack the supplies for it and I am terrible at traditional art. So if you want to check out my art, then follow me on Twitter or DeviantArt and see other stuff from me as well. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like or subscribe to check out more stuff by me like art and me talking, if you like that type of junk. And I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.